Hey, it's Roger. I'm going to do a bit of an analysis of the 2013 world champion of public speaking, Presyan Vasilev, and his, and his speech changed by its heart. Now, I really like this speech. It's actually got one of the lowest word counts in speeches that I've ever seen um, in, in competition. And it's just a really great formula speech, and, and for, for many reasons, I'm going to break it down. Uh, step by step. I might even break it down into minutes and I'll explain what I see. I'll explain what I see as, as the speech goes on. I'll, I'll press pause as it as I need to. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Presian. Oh, we'll skip past that. Here he is. He's coming in. Presian Vatilev changed by a tire. Changed by a tire. Pretian Vasilev. And already you noticed in the first few seconds as the contest judge was announcing change by attire, change by attire, so he was looking around, he was making eye contact with the audience. I thought that was just something really important to note. Um, he was making eye contact in that moment, yeah. The steering wheel jerked. I tried to keep the car in control. That night in Chicago, a flat tire changed me. I pulled in the nearby. There we go. So in the first 10, 20 seconds, he's given us a, a synopsis of the, um, the message, of what happened as a story, and he's thrown us immediately into the story. Uh, you know, he, he's brought us into the, into the moment by moment, blow by blow of the story. That's what he's done. It's really well done. And now he's getting into it. Station. And then the bright lights. Parked on a slow. Look at his gestures. So he used that gesture just a moment ago where where his arms were out wide and now he's going down to a mid gesture, yeah? So he was standing up, normal size, and he's gone that. Just a great use of height, which is what I mentioned in my book. Heading to a busy street. Now he's gone even lower, if you notice that. Mr. Contest Chair. Toastmasters and guests. Great use of gestures here. Have you ever done something stupid? Gets a laugh. I broke the first, first line. through of changing a tire. Nice gesture pointing out the top there. A level spot. Facial expression. Because in Chicago, there aren't that many slows. Self effacing humor. But that night, I found one. So he uses that one a lot. He points up a Why lot. Why do flat tires too. always happen when you're dressed up? Clever move, taking off the jacket. Opened the trunk, excavated the jack. Use of mime, excellent. Unused for centuries. Rusty piece Facial of expression, metal. describing the rusty Arkham piece of metal. Right. Loosen the nuts. Place the jack down. Great use of mime. Sound effect. Brilliant. Look at that sound effect. Amazing. The novelty of that sets him apart from his competitors. Half hour to remove the And tire. again, use of height going right down. The only support in front, the rusty jack. Back at the trunk, I pulled out the spare tire. Shoot. Use of mime. Excellent. I saw the car going down again. You can see he moves from backstage to forward. The car collapsed. My lungs collapsed. Repetition of the words collapse, collapse, collapsed. An inner voice said, You are an idiot. Self effacing humor always gets a laugh. Facial expression. Then another voice. Reach out. Reach out. Use of the whisper. I love that. So reach out. He's changing his voice tone. He's going, What are And then he's going, Reach out. Yeah, beautiful change in, in tone. Provides variety. I in can handle it. I love that bit. This this one in the speech. Just doing this and one him the speech. Lifted the car almost enough. Competition. Bam. If at first you don't succeed. Almost enough. Bam. The car had moved to a steeper slope. I grasped the gravity of the situation. Nice gesture there. 
A lot of laughs in this speech. Really good. The people at the bus stop across the street were looking at me. I was giving a demonstration how not to change a tire. Again, that same gesture up there. He seems to repeat that a lot. Then that voice again. Reach. Reach. Oh, lovely use of whisper. Fantastic. Reach out. Should I involve them? Of course not. Facial expression. Great. Ha. Uh, that's not my car. Nice bit of humor, physical humor. In the gas station, behind the counter, stood a big man. Here we go, we, we've smart. introduced to the mentor. The mentor in the speech, remember I talk about in the book, about having a mentor, here we reach the mentor. He's going to help the hero. The hero is lost, this is the hero. I dread Jesse. He said, my friend, was your car doing push-up? Lovely use of gestures with his finger. Great work. I told him I did something stupid. I asked him for help. We got out. Jesse looked at the car and said, You were right. That's stupid. Again, you use of the hologram. So he's pointing at the object. Obviously, the car is in center stage. And so all he needs to do is point back to the car. So he goes off to the off to the left of stage to talk to Jesse. And he comes back to the, to the, with him to see the car. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful use of sound effects. You never know who you're going to find when you reach out. Reach out. There I we go. Again, there's that theme. Reach out, reach out, but in a different tone. The DJM. Distinguished Jack Master. Now, a lot of, a lot of um, speakers do this, I've noticed. They, they, re they make a reference back to Toastmasters in their speech, which is, is clever. And, and some of the judges, long-standing judges, do tend to like that. So it may win you points. Maybe, maybe not. But I've noticed it a fair bit. Jesse, help me lift the car up. Yep, lift it up. Lift up is another theme. Look, as he said, lift up. He lifted his hand up. Rusty, foolish hand. Shook, rusty, helping hand. I love it. He just uses a lot of repetition. Rusty, foolish hand, shook, rusty, helping hand. Right. The hand is very symbolic in this. The hand uses a jack. The hand reaches out and asks for help. The hand points. It's really, really awesome how he uses that in gesture in the speech. That night, I start to change the tire. Instead, the tire changed me. A reaffirmation of the message I in the speech. I used to believe that to reach out was weakness. Reach out again. He's repeating I reach out. My weakness was refusing to reach out. Lovely gestures. When you reach out, you attract ideas. Reach out again. He repeats when it again. You lift you up. Reach when out. You reach lift out, out. Repeat you it again. Solutions that lift lift you, you up. up. Repeating the gesture. Repeating you the same. Out. You attract friendships. Lift. That lift you, you up. up. So reach out and lift you up. Repeat Maybe it, repeat it, repeat it. Better voice. Reach out to a singer. Reach out. Maybe you want better writing. This reach is the writing. call to action. He's Maybe telling people to reach you out. You want better tire changing skills? Reach out Life. to me. I'll give you Jesse's number. And a great humorous end to the speech. And also that's a tool where you, you know, you have a prop which is significant to the, um, to the speech. And it's been done, it was in a book, uh, Stan Lightley can speak like church or whatever. Um, yeah, like by having something and pulling it out and reading that, that's just a, a, another tool in a great speech, which adds impact to it. So he didn't need to have the card, but just having the card added a, that little that bit extra to that laugh at the end. Is there something collapsed in your life? I love it. He just uses words. Is there something collapsed? You know, opposite. He's using contrast here. So lifting up and collapsed. Lovely pause here. Big pause. Super pause. Your knowledge may be limited. Your skills may be rusty. But no doubt. Limited and rusty. Yeah. <laughs> Comes back to that use of the word rusty. Rusty, 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 reach out, reach out, reach out, lift up, lift up, lift up. 
great Real repetition in the speech, all ties in with the, the message. When you reach out. When you reach out. He won. Everyone knew he won that competition. Absolute clear win. Absolute clear win. Great work. And and again, it comes down to when you do your speech, the, the winner is a clear winner. It's generally a clear, clear, clear winner. And that guy, and that was such a, that's such a low word count, but he used great pauses. I think it was his speech was only like 500 and something words. I did count it. Great work, Priscillian Vasilev. By all means, get in touch with him. He's on LinkedIn. He's a great guy, I can imagine. And uh, yeah, this is, this is Roger. Have a fantastic day. I hope you like this uh, speech analysis. Thank you.